Okay, hello everyone. Some time ago I wanted to model a light bulb, but it was a little difficult for me, and so I decided to investigate and try to come up with an easy way to do it. The thread of this has two parts, and one is uh, the crest, the uh, outside, and the root is the inside uh, area. And the difference between them, you can see one is larger than the other one. The bottom of the cap is easy and the top is also easy just to pull it up and end with a little flange here. So let's make sure you work on millimeters and start with an end gun with six sides. The interpolation is zero. I'll draw it on the left hand side. I use the radius at 1.6 millimeters. Let me look this closely and now we're going to turn this around with snaps to angle. Notice that this is just a default. Turn it so that the point is up. Okay, once that's done, we're going to make another one a little bit smaller. This one will have 0.9 millimeters. All you have to do is the same way, turn this so the point is up. After this, using snaps to vertices, align it with this corner here. Select both and move it up with shift drag to make copies. Make about four copies. We only need four sets so you can remove this. Now you can also align this perfectly to the corners by using snap to vertices this way. Do this for all of those pieces. Now we're going to use a line and trace the profile using the snap to vertice. You start at the bottom all the way to the top. Top can end a little bit up here. We will make adjustments later. Now we don't need the, uh, the helpers anymore. We can now make a rectangle the height of the rectangle is not important, but you can make the width exactly 76 millimeters. Draw a line using snap to vertices again, and you can remove now the rectangle. Select a line and create a polygon using sweep. On sweep, check on use custom section and pick the one we made. So you should have this image here. This will be, well, this is the body of the thread of the, of the light bulb. It has four crests. Next, we need to slant one side. So convert it to a polygon and then select the edge on the right here. And we're going to move that up, aligning about one whole step up as you can see in the yellow arrows here. You gotta make it as very close as possible. After we have aligned this, we have, we're gonna have to make some edits in these corners. So using target weld, connect these two vertices at the bottom, from here to here. We'll do the same on the top. This time we'll weld this one to here and this one again to here. All right, now select the top edge and shift pull up to extend it a little distance. Now we can use, um, make it planar on Z or Zira and do the same thing at the bottom edge. Make it straight with Z plane. Now, if you have this here, you can Push it back a little bit or correct it. All right. This seems to be fine. Okay, now we need to add some segments on a vertical area. So using edge, select all these edges here and add 23 segments using connect. This will give us actually a line in the center, which is what I'm 
looking for right here. After you're done with this, we're gonna we're going to use. Well, make sure there are no curves on these things. So select all the polygons and clear all the smoothing groups. Now let's add bend, and you can uh, check which direction you're going. In this case, we want to go backwards here. We'll put minus 360. And now you should have the basic shape of your uh, screw here. Convert this to a poly and weld all these vertices. Be careful when you do these uh, vertices here on a weld, you have to check this before and after. And you have to pull each one of them to make sure you, ha you have welded. You can select individual vertices with target weld and connect them this way. Now some of them don't have any place to weld, so you have to add a segment using cut. You can start up in a, maybe here in the corner somewhere. So we can use it to weld this other corner here. Make sure you weld all the open vertices because you may have problems later when you do turbo smooth. Now, I want you to uh, notice that th this, the screw base of the light bulb is, is not perfectly, it's not perfect at the top and bottom. Something happens there, so we extend the top and bottom just a little bit, and you'll notice that it's not a perfect circle anymore. And that's due because the sum of the thread goes uh, further inside. So to fix this, we're going to draw a circle about the same diameter as the base um, or the top. Just make sure your uh, circle is, has the same number of, um, of uh, interpolation so that we can match the, uh, the edges of your model. So I'm using five here and you can see it's very close. After centering this very well and placing it near the bottom, we can now select uh, snap to vertice and move our vertices to the uh, circle. And this will force it into making it a uh, perfect circle at the bottom. You can do the same thing for the top. Now, once, when you, once you've done this, you can extend the bottom part of the uh, screw like you see in this image. Now this area here needs to uh, go from from a ridge to to a flat surface so you can move these vertices slowly outside so that it creates a smooth transition. Before we add a turbo smooth here, we need to extend the top a little bit, the top edge, just pull it up a little and then 
uh, we're going to widen it. Okay, just make it a little wider uh, this way. And that should be good for the top. Now to create a sharp edge in this area, uh, you can add a line with connect or with swift loop this way. And now you can add turbo smooth. We are now finished. All you have to do is add some materials and check the results. And I hope uh, you can use this method to create some other screw-like uh, uh, models. And thanks for watching.